we came to worship and praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And we welcome anyone who cares to join us. Come we that love the Lord and let our joy be known. Join in a song of sweet accord and thus surround the throne because we are marching, we are marching to Zion. Let those refuse to sing who never knew our God. The children of the heavenly God. King may speak their joys abroad. May speak. So we welcome you and we invite you to come and worship him with us here at 1219 Dunbar Old Drive uh, when the situation allows. But if not, we thank you for joining us in our live stream and, and our that service, but uh, don't 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 look like it. Don't don't join us like you're being entertained. Join us like you want to praise the Lord and lift up His good and holy name. God bless you, and may you be blessed by our services this afternoon. Um, I just I certainly share with you that we have a a very special guest with us this afternoon, uh, uh, Bishop. Red and G. Sharon. Uh, Bishop Sharon and I had the congregation laughing a few weeks ago when uh, I was trying to call your name and I said, Fred G. Sanford. <laughs> I said, no, 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 Fred G. Sharon. Uh, but it, it kind of, uh, we, we got a little bit of a chuckle out of that. But, uh, Pastor Sharon is the pastor of the Gideon Knights of Brooklyn, New York. Uh, he's from Bone, Bone Fontaine. Oh, Blue Fontaine? Blue, is that the way you pronounce yeah, it? Yes. That's yeah. what I said, Blue Fontaine. Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Blue Fontaine, Republic of South Africa. Uh, departing Blue Fontaine for the return trip to the United States of America leaves a feeling of ambivalence, he says. America is my country of birth, yet there is a sense of Yahweh, Yahweh God, calling me to the Republic of South Africa that makes it my home. My calling by the master premiates within me a deep affection for the people and promotes in me an intellectual curiosity of the culture and the ways of the inhabitants of the Republic of South Africa. This has caused me to become more attuned to my self-awareness as a black Eurocentric American, not an African American. So in my ministry of the Shiloh Bible Institute of the Republic of South Africa, I move forward as a servant of Yahshua, Jesus, cooperating with the diverse people of the Republic of South Africa in my limitations as American. In this capacity, my reliance upon God in the establishment of the Shiloh Bible High School is total dependence upon the Creator to work within me to labor in forming a Bible high school in uh, Lupa. How, how do you pronounce it again? Blue Fontaine? Blue Fontaine. Blue Fontaine. Uh, okay. Uh, the work of the high school rests within my spirit to fast, pray, and believe the will of Yahweh shall be done. But the will of Yahweh shall always come first in my life. And uh, Pastor Sharon, as we talk this morning, he's very passionate, passionate about his love for God. And he obviously, to me, as I talk with him, he's never satisfied that he's done enough. Uh, I'm persuaded that he's constantly uh, looking and himself and saying, have, have, have I done enough? He, I'm persuaded that he uh, want to be able to say, uh, 
well done, thy good and faithful servant, when he stands before his God. So uh, without any uh, further ado, uh, we're going to ask that the choir will lend us another selection, and then following this selection will be the voice of Bishop Fred G. Sharon. Uh, we ask that you will receive him prayerfully. Amen. 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 Amen.
Amen. Okay. Not through the mouth. That's good work. All right. Praise God. Let's say amen. 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 Little Alan. Amen. 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 I'll tell you right now. Listen, I want to first give honor to God, to, uh, your, uh, to your pastor, and to the assistant pastor. Praise the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I tell you, I'm excited about being here. Amen. When I get excited, look out. Anything can happen. Ah, I, I got to warn you ahead of time. All right. When I get excited, I'm always at home. When I get excited, now listen, let me, let, me, let me just say this first. These two young people, Leonard and Kia. My Lord. Okay? Amen. Uh, give them a hand clap. Amen. Now, why are you giving them a hand clap? I'm going to tell you why. I'm not going to keep you. I'm not going to keep you. Uh, and this, I'm going to tell you why you should give them a hand clap. Well. Because they're in your church right now. Amen. Amen. How do they get in your church right now? Amen. We met last week, right? Yes. Amen. In Cuba. Wow. Uh -huh. Amen. We never knew each other. We met in Cuba. Cuba. They were visiting, and my wife and I were visiting. Mm -hmm. And we found out that they, was it, is it Washington, D.C.? Have I got the place right? Amen. And my sweet little wife said to Kia, my husband's preaching. Uh, uh, I had the wrong date, didn't I, kid? I said, said, said he's preaching uh, last Sunday in August. And, 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 she, and she said, I'll go. So we had to call her fr Friday and remind her. She said, honey, you made the wrong date. It's not. It was on my calendar, but I, I was in Cuba. Enjoying myself. And, I, and, 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 and the day, and she said, and she said, you gotta call her and tell her it's not. I said, oh Lord, I know she ain't coming now because you told her August 21. I know she's gonna say I made plans. She said, I'll be there. Oh, That's how we know. Two days in Cuba. I told you that. And then, and then the pastor said, yeah, the angels are here. I said, you know what? He might be right. I don't know them that well. It could be angels. But I thank God. And I want to say to uh, uh, um, Kia and Leah, my wife is not here. When we were in, in uh, uh, Cuba, I never have gotten sick from the air condition. Uh, in Cuba, the cars are... The taxis we take are 1951 and 1955. That old. Yeah, oh, yeah. 51, 55. A car if you're riding. But see, if you, if, if, you, if you drive cars, some of them are pretty convertibles in 55. They are, they are good looking, I'm going to tell you. Some of them are beat up. So they had the air condition on. And I always can take air condition in this car, but I lost my voice. And then the next day when we got home, I had a little slight fever. And my wife started working on me. She's good at that. She started, you need vitamin C and A and zinc. Well, well, well. I don't know what this zinc stuff is. And she got to, you got to have zinc and vitamin C and vitamin A and I don't know all this other stuff. But it worked. Amen. It worked. And so I got better. And we went to church because we go to church on Saturday. He is sick. And she tells the congregation, I got picked up my husband. <laughs> I said, how can yeah, you she tell me that? She, she, did. Nice. she did. She tells the whole congregation, I picked up my husband. I said, why are you doing that? And so she, she, we had to bring our grandson down to uh, New Jersey. And then we were going to stay at our, grands, our, grand, uh, our daughter's house. And from there, come here to meet with my my brother there. He, he's, forget it. He's, he's like my brother. And, and then come to church. She got so sick. We knew we had to get up at 4 o'clock this morning because he likes his breakfast. And we knew we had to get to his house by 8. <laughs> he insists we had to come to his house to have breakfast. And she was so sick. And my daughter was there and said, no way can she make it today. 
But she said, you got to go because Leonard and Kia are coming. <laughs> Isn't that nice? Angels are coming. What did you say? Angels are coming. Um, so wow. here, and they were coming, and she actually said, "Said you gotta go, cause they're coming." My Lord. I said, "Oh, this is not nice. Such a sweet one." And by the way, we celebrated our fiftieth um, wedding anniversary hey, last month. Man. And he was the best man. He was the best man. Oh, okay. Nice on that. But listen now. So I, I'm, I'm, I'm grateful and I'm thankful uh, for the message. I, I, I love. The people of God. Now, I'm going to tell you something. Uh, you may not shout and sing over the message, but I kind of feel that there's something in my heart that the pastor allowed. I like to bring to the people. Mm -hmm. It's true, I do go to South Africa. I live in South Africa six months out of the year, <coughs> and I live in America six months. Uh, I'm a permanent resident of the Republic of South Africa. So I'm not a visitor. We have a beautiful home, and anytime you want to come, or you need to see a fair, you can visit us. <laughs> I'm serious. I tell people that. They don't come, but I tell them anyhow. Yeah. But you can come. You can come, get my number, call. I'm there six months uh, in the Republic of South Africa with permanent residents. Last year we wanted to put in for dual citizenship. But would you believe it? Month before they change it, instead of five years, it's ten years. So we gotta wait five more years to become dual citizen. Um, what do I do there? Right? Mm-hmm. Well, I love it there. Oh my God. Do I love South Africa? I mean I love America too, you're nice. Uh, but I, I do I do love I do love South Africa. 